Alright, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a database using Visual Studio. And for this video, I'm going to be using Visual Studio 13, but any version works. So once you open it under Start, you can click New Project. And you can name it right here. I'm just going to name it Tutorial. And then you can double click on Windows Forms Application. Next, under Solution Explorer, you can right click on your project and then click add and then new item now from here you can scroll down to service based database and double click on that now once that loads it will show up on server explorer as you can see and if you don't have server explorer open you can open it by going to view and then server explorer now what you want to do is double click on your database and your, and double click on tables and then right click on tables and click add new table now once the design surface loads, the default column will be ID and you can begin to add different columns. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna add first name and last name and grade and password. And next what you can do is uncheck all of these and then click on this and set that for every column alright so once you've got your database finished you can go to update and then update database this will update your database and once updated you can head over to your form alright so now what you want to do is under your server explorer if you right click on it and then click refresh your table will show up under tables so you can right click on that and then click open or show table data and then under here you can begin to fill out all the columns so for ID I'll put 152130 and then for first name I'll put some John and then we'd see and 50 and add in and I'll put one five two one two nine Michael Cofield hundred one two four and for the last one I'll put one five two one two eight um Sucre and Bob a and seven eight nine zero. All right, so once you got this filled out, you can go back to your form, and at the top of your screen, click Project, and then Add New Data Source. Now, once this wizard shows up, just click Database, Data Set, Next, Next, and then Tables, and your table right here, and then click Finish. Now once you're done, there are two views for the database. There is the data grid view and the details view. So you just want to click data grid view for the video. And you can just drag it over straight to your form. Now you can change the size of your rows and columns in your properties, but we're not going to be doing that for this video. So now at the top right of your database, the we there will be a small arrow just click on that and then click add query now depending on what you want to search so say I want to search first name you can type first name and then click query builder and then you can go to your first name and then under filter you can type whatever you're searching by and then like all caps and then question mark plus quote percent sign and quote and then OK and click OK again and now as you can see this will show up at the top of your form and you can change the placement of this but we're not alright my video recording session just ended so as I was saying you can change the placement of this in your properties except I'm not going to be doing that for this video so we're, gonna just, we're just going to change the labels for now so we can change this to um, first name 
and we can change this button to search and once you've done that you can um, start your database and then up here you can search for a name say I want to search for Michael and Michael will show up and if I want to search for John and here John will show up and you can add um, different search buttons or different things you want to search by you just need to do the same thing as we did last time go to add query and then type your name but yeah I pretty much covered everything in this video of how to make a database um, I'll show you my database that I made a project I've been working on which is kind of a more advanced program so if you go to recent here is my database and as you can see this is it so I'm just gonna start it and type in my and here is my main database and as you can see if I can search by name or an ID and this is kinda just an example of uh, what you can the different kind of things you can make with it so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe I would really appreciate it anyways See you later.